Ever wondered how your electric stove works? How does the electricity magically turn into heat to cook your meals? Today, we unravel the mystery. It's all about the wiring inside that links the hard coil top stove to various switches. Understanding this basic wiring is not just for the DIY enthusiasts out there, but also for the everyday users driven by curiosity. It's about knowing your household appliances inside out. So, buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of electric stove wiring. An electric stove isn't as complicated as it seems. It's primarily about converting electrical energy into heat. At its core, an electric stove uses the principle of resistance to work. When electricity passes through the stove's heating elements, their resistance to the current generates heat. This is the same principle that makes a light bulb glow or a toaster get hot. The main components of an electric stove are fairly simple. First, you have the power source, which is normally a dedicated outlet that provides the necessary voltage. Then, you have the heating elements, or burners, which are the parts that actually get hot. These elements are controlled by switches that allow you to adjust the heat level. The switches are critical because they control the amount of electricity that reaches the heating elements, allowing you to change how hot the stove gets. Knowing the basic components and principles of an electric stove sets the foundation for understanding its wiring. Now that we've grasped the basics, let's dive deeper into the actual wiring of an electric stove. It's a fascinating process, almost like a journey that electricity takes from the power source to the heating coils. So buckle up, we're about to trace this journey. First stop, the power source. The electric stove is typically powered by a 240 volt circuit, which is double the 120 volts commonly found in most household outlets. This extra power is essential for the high heat tasks that cooking requires. The stove is connected to this power source via a dedicated circuit breaker to handle the high voltage. Moving on, we come to the heating elements. These are the heart of any electric stove, where electricity gets converted into heat. Each burner has its own heating element, made of a resistive wire that heats up as electricity flows through it. These elements are usually coiled into a spiral shape which helps distribute the heat evenly, now let's not forget about the control switches. These are the knobs or buttons on the stove that allow you to adjust the heat level. When you turn a knob or press a button, you're actually adjusting the amount of electricity that flows to the heating element. The more electricity, the hotter the element gets. It's all about control here. Let's also touch on the thermostat. This is a temperature sensitive switch that turns the heating element on and off to maintain a certain temperature. It's like a vigilant guard constantly monitoring the heat and making adjustments when necessary. And finally, we have the wiring that connects all these components. It's like a network of electrical highways, transporting electricity from the power source to the heating elements and control switches. This wiring has to be carefully installed and insulated to ensure safety and efficiency. With these steps, we've essentially traced the journey of electricity through the stove, turning into heat at the coils, it's a fascinating process, isn't it? And understanding it can be pretty handy, especially for all you DIY enthusiasts out there. Let's recap the key points about electric stove wiring we've learned so far. First and foremost, remember that an electric stove operates on the basic principle of electrical energy conversion into heat. This conversion happens within the heating elements of your stove. These heating elements are the heart of your stove and they're powered by your home's electrical system. It's crucial to understand that these elements need a high amount of electricity to function. Hence, they are directly connected to your home's main power source. Now, let's talk about the control switches. These are like the brains of your stove. They regulate the amount of electricity flowing to the heating elements and thereby control the heat intensity. This regulation is vital for cooking your food at the right temperature. Remember the step-by-step -step guide to wiring an electric stove? We started by ensuring the power source was off. Then we connected the power cable to the stove, followed by connecting the stove's wires to the power source. Lastly, we secured all the connections and tested the stove to ensure it's working correctly. It's also important to remember that safety should always be your top priority when dealing with electricity. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions and consider consulting a professional if you're unsure about any steps. Understanding how your electric stove works not only satisfies your curiosity, but also empowers you to troubleshoot minor issues. Remember, knowledge is power.